Have you guys heard about the incidents or the drama happening around horses? Legendary, well-established, well-known, very popular restaurant out there in LA. I think they may have a Michelin star. I'm not convinced, but usually if you're white, you usually have a Michelin star. If you don't like salt and pepper and shit and you like eating, you know, fucking shaved carrot sticks and whatnot, you're probably going to get a Michelin star. So I'd imagine horses probably has one. The story around them is absolutely nuts. It's breaking all over social and the actual deals of it are quite harrowing. So this is courtesy of Los Angeles Time. It says this headline, a top LA chef at horses accused by a wife of killing cats. Assault, he denies claims. Now, that's just, just an overview. But the actual details of the story are way more harrowing. This is courtesy of somebody here on Twitter called Nike PS5. And they do this following. These are screenshots taking people, I guess, on the inside, giving information as to what's happening behind the scenes with this restaurant called Horses. So the screenshots looks as follows. So the Liz chef, the, sorry, the Liz, so Liz the chef was with this dude, Will, that was co-chef at Horses when it opened till the top of last year. Apparently, they had a kind of open door policy about adopting stray cats at home already suspect right any family that just adopts stray cats like that especially when they're young is really strange and mysteriously like a half a dozen of them had died over the span of a year or so so imagine you're in, in, you're accepting all these stray cats into your home half a dozen are dying mysterious circumstances it's a bit fishy bro apparently liz one of the people involved in horses la was already feeling increasingly freaked out and thinking something was up with her husband at the time her partner and she comes home a few months ago and will is beating his meat while strangling a kitten did you hear that one of the people involved in horses one of the chefs over there one of the head honchos one of the founders of that place is being accused of killing cats while he beats his meat have you heard of a stranger story in your entire life a popular, well-established, very trendy, very hipster-friendly restaurant. All the coastal elites love. They have a chef there killing cats and beating his meat. Crazy. Next <laughs> screenshot here. Um, and obviously people were talking about it online, all these media leaks. But let's go back to the actual article itself, what it says. Because um, I was expecting it to close, but clearly they're not closing because, you know, white people have no shame. So it says here, a chef of popular Los Angeles restaurant horses accused her husband and business partner of killing the family's cats in a divorce filing in which was also asked for a domestic violence restraining order. So most likely, if this couple wasn't getting divorced, we would have never found out that the husband was strangling cats while he's jacking off. Imagine that. Elizabeth Johnson filed a request in November to keep Will um, Adjahajani um, away from her out of fear that he might hurt her or someone else. She alleged he assaulted her on numerous occasions. Are we surprised that the guy that kills cats and jacks off in the middle of the living room is also doing that? No, we're not. Um, Will strongly denied the claims in his own court filings, calling them false allegations. I would too. After the Times published allegations, um, horses issued a statement on Instagram. Let's see the statement on Instagram. And again, so disappointed in this. Comments turned off. One of the most annoying things I hate about drama when it happens is when the public statement goes out and they turn off the comments on the post. Because this is usually where you get all the information, all the juicy inside info and scoop from people actually on the ground level come through the comments. So it's really annoying that they turn off the comments. But anyway, the statement from horses in the face of all these accusations, all this craziness going on there, right? Will Ajani has been on leave of absence from horses as of November 2022. And since then, he's not been involved in the day-to-day -day operations of the restaurant. Under the guidance of Chef Liz, our incredible front and back of house teams are working continuously to make horses what she had always intended it to be. A place of joy and celebration. Horses has no further comment outside of this statement. Those cats didn't feel any joy or celebration. They felt a real molecule, a real flipping small amount of fucking joy when they stepped into those people's houses from the flipping scourge of being out in those LA streets and having dis, you know, unhoused people kicking them down the road and shit. They get some safety. They come into some flipping sanctuary. They get offered some water. They get offered some treats. They get petted, right? They get scratched and stuff. They get hugged, they get picked up, they get looked after, they get nursed. And then as soon as mummy leaves, 
daddy goes to town. He whacks on naughty America <laughs> and then he starts strangling one of them as he's jacking off his meat, watching videos of God knows who. And then they're talking about celebration, joy. Turn on your comments and stop being a fucking pussy, man. Let's see what's going on, really. But this definitely is clear clarification that this restaurant has no intention of closing. They legitimately think, and you, know, you have to be a real sicko if you live in LA unless this place cooks the meanest steak, you have to be a real sicko to go back to this restaurant knowing what you know, to choose to go back here and say, no, actually, this place is a place of like joy and celebration. I don't care that the owners strangle cats while he's flipping, exploding, man meat is going all over his hand or man juice, whatever it may be. You're all right with that. If you're okay going to eat there, you are a pure sicko, to be honest. I know it didn't happen on the premises, maybe who knows right are they gonna find loads of bodies of fucking dead cats all under the fucking restaurant to dig it up one day who knows may they may not be some dead cats in the fucking ceiling somewhere who knows one thing's for certain though if that was my favorite restaurant it's not anymore i'm just not going but i find it hilarious the restaurant isn't missing the beat they're like we're still open for business guys don't worry about it we're still open for business <laughs> they probably got a banner outside on the awing um you know with fucking still open for business like you know when a restaurant has like scaffolding or building work is happening in front they're like nope don't worry mate still open for business regular service has been resumed do not worry your chicken season salad your cat salads are still available do not worry do not worry absolutely crazy mate going back to the article um in the court filings, Johnson said, Will and I had cats that mysteriously ended up dying, including one in 2007. And when I took out a shelter, um, when she became seriously wounded overnight, that shelter told me that she'd been seriously abused, but Will denied it. I believed him. And then last month, we were given another kitten. <laughs> she alleged then that Afghani joked about feeding the kitten to coyotes holy shit and said that he didn't like the cat according to the filing eventually she witnessed him hurting the cat she wrote in the filing i caught will violently shaking the cat late at night and he died the next day will put the dead cat in the trash can and insisted on keeping the corpse in the house yo will's a sicko this is up there like you know when they say um people who go on to be serial killers or abuse women and shit they have like little things that they do little tells where maybe when they were younger they go to like you know female boutiques and shit women boutiques and they go and like they'll steal underwear or they'll cut um you know the clothing of people or women in front of them randomly with a little razor blade and shit and you know have those things of mementos back home or they'd kill pets and shit and then kind of ramp up to killing actual living breathing humans this is kind of the same sort of thing you violently kill a cat as you're jacking off to wherever you're jacking off to some episode of bang bros and then you keep the corpse in your house because what as a trophy to spite your wife that you want a divorce what's going on here johnson alleged that um will mental and psychological abuse kept her from realizing sooner he was doing to the animals uh, of course it's always the mental health abuse thing in it right it's not just you not paying attention it's not just you living in a funky white person people's house because only white person can live in a house where you don't change the cat litter often and you also have the corpse of a dead cat in the bin stinking up the entire place and it's fine yeah let's blame it on mental health anyway will's mother amanda weathersby He's got his own mother testifying for him, sending a declaration that the couple had a serious series of kittens that died when they lived in New York City. Liz talked about them and how one and how one after another died. She and Will believed that this was due to the rat poison used in the buildings there. Johnson allegedly um, physical abuse of uh, Johnson alleged physical abuse at the hands of Will. In 2019, Will dragged her by the legs across the floor where she screamed and attempted to resist according to the filing so now mental health now you know a couple of you know scuffles a couple of some a couple of bits of mutual combat in the house and now you know you're kind of here crying and snitching but when the cats were dying you didn't care uh, will responded to the claims on wednesday he said johnson was trying to take my business away from me through a divorce 
they're more worried about keeping the restaurant <laughs> than he is worried about people finding out that he's a fucking cat murderer and quite possibly could be on the cusp of killing actual human beings like a legit monster a legit monster but he's more worried about keeping the restaurant brother even if you kept the restaurant no one's gonna come to your restaurant knowing that you murder cats especially in this circumstance it continues i love cats mice <laughs> all my friends are cats <laughs> all my friends are black people <laughs> my fr <laughs> my favorite animals are cat <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a fucking nutcase i love cats mice um any other living under any other living animal under god's allah of course slash allah or whoever you believe in <laughs> i don't offend anybody brother worry about the crimes that you've been accused of don't worry about the semantics of the words that you're using or un or any other <laughs> animals under gods or allahs or whatever re religion calls him or her fuck off he's gonna try to use pronouns for the cats now <laughs> he, he, uh, damn day. <laughs> this is the most coastal elite press release and excuse i've ever seen in my entire life this guy's fighting for his life right the future of his life actually his legacy in a divorce filing the news has gone freaking viral everyone's finding out what's happening behind the scenes behind closed doors and you're worried about you know you're worried about not misgendering the cats <laughs> you're worried about not offending people's religious beliefs in your statement and you're worried about using the right pronouns for a fucking cat are you alive are you for real it's up there actually it's quite similar to people that have dogs and you don't know if it's a boy or a girl and you're like oh isn't she cute it's like it's actually a he you're like mm, i'm not i'm not fucking staring at your dog's ass you know what i mean sorry my bad i'm just commenting on the fucking dog that i see in front of me it looks cute let just let me say that and move on um it's actually a she fucking idiots man nothing worse than really really up their own ass dog people man they really get on my nerves anyway we continue um uh i love cats mice and every other living animal under god's allah or whatever or whatever each religion calls him or her um have loved all animals since i was a child <laughs> i love i love i have problems killing lobster so what he cries every day he kind of has to kill a lobster for a fucking lobster roll or some shit are you for real usually try to do it in the most humane way possible by what fucking <laughs> doing the cross before he crushes it <laughs> a friend of Africa, of wales painted a different picture of the johnsons samuel burkett filed a declaration in a case saying that he was best friends with will and lived with the couple for a brief period of time oh this guy sounds like he might be fucking the wife to be fair imagine one of your best friends who lived with you now coming out trying to bury you in a divorce filing are you fucking my wife mate um, anyway it continues samuel burkett filed a declaration in a case saying that he was friends with will and lived with the couple for a brief period while working with them in tennessee at a restaurant called catbird seat he would wake up to johnson <laughs> imagine living with a, living with a couple must be weird anyway right because you have to fucking hear them arguing hear them smashing hear them making plans for the week it's just awkward right you're always the third will but imagine being wo not woken up by them actually having sex or anything. You've been woken up by one of the pe one of the people in the couple strangling a cat in the bathroom or something through muffled screams. Jesus Christos. He would wake up Johnson berigently screaming and at work he saw her kick Will and stomp his feet and hit him according to the declaration. Okay, what? Hold on. So is this guy defending Will? So maybe he wants to go out with Will then. Who knows? I never saw Will react to her abuse. He just always brushed it off. Okay, so Simon or Samuel might want to be with Will then. My bad. Maybe he wants to get off with Will. Fair play. In 2022, the couple announced a new restaurant in New York City called Froggies. Slate open in the West Village. <laughs> Froggies. <laughs> on Wednesday, legal representation of Will confirmed the restaurant's opening had been put on pause amid the divorce proceedings. Well, duh. Horses opened in Hollywood in October 2021 to fanfare, garnering national praise for the stylish clientele and its innovative, innovative approach sorry, to stalwart modern American classics. Um, it featured a co-chef kitchen system that purported equal say each night among at least four chefs who were in charge of the menu. On Eater LA, 
horses remained one of the site's heat map of the hottest new restaurants for months. The Los Angeles Times called it a new modern LA institution and the city's most exhilarating new dining experience in the last year. In August, the restaurant found itself in the centre of another controversy when the opening of horses, the restaurant's owner had enlisted former Spotted Pig restauranter Kevin Friedman of New York to help acquire the lease. According to a report in 2017, Friedman was accused by employees of Spotted Pig of sexual harassment, retaliation in one of the re earliest bombshell cases of alleged abuse within the restaurant industry. So they align themselves with abusers. One of the guys behind their scenes is killing cats. Are we surprised? I'm not surprised in the slightest. Um, what else is to end it? Um, Will says he's a victim of his own marriage. He said that Johnson repeatedly threatened to kill him and burned him at least twice with metal spatulas <laughs> and a spoon she placed in the fryer according to the court filings. That's a weird way to fucking fight your spouse, isn't it? You fry a spoon in some olive oil and then you just, yeah, piece of shit. Um, Will also said the filings that Johnson was abused. Uh, Johnson is the one who abused their animals. She falsely accuses me of these things that she has done or that she threatened to do to me and my pets. My pets are like my children and I love them dearly. I am fearful Johnson since I'm the victim of her long-term abuse and has occurred throughout our relationship. So it's a proper he said, she said type of affair. But so far, according to these screenshots, which I believe more, because I believe more the testimony of somebody in a group chat that I believe some nonsense filing of a divorce, especially when they rub out all the names. But this person, this person says, Liz was the chef, was with the dude Will, that was a co-chef. And one day, one day she came back home and she saw will beating his meat while strangling a kitten i believe this person in the group text i don't believe will but let's see what happens and if you are going to that restaurant and eating there you're a pure sicko let's see what people are saying in the comments of the other post because that is wild oh they close the comments on all the posts clever because usually people go to previous posts and leave comments so they close all the comments on every post because they don't want any more passa so if you're going there and eating at this restaurant you're a sicko because the owners are out here strangling and maybe fucking cats we have no idea because i would go that far i'd say if they're killing them they're probably fucking them but hey maybe i'm going out of the way and being too crazy with it who knows who fucking knows